Well, good afternoon. Today we go watch our granddaughter, our oldest grandchild, get married at three o'clock. Um, I think I look pretty good. A long story, which I will make another video on that will be with this one to tell you what happened yesterday. There ended up being no rehearsal dinner. Uh, the whole family got pulled together for what could have been a two funerals instead of a wedding. So my face shows the stress. I'm a little swollen. My feet are swollen or one foot is swollen. I feel like absolute crap, but I'm gonna do my best to be grateful that everyone is okay, that there's going to be a wedding and all of my family is intact. But I just wanted to take this picture because it's not often that I look so cute. Um, my dress is floor length with a slit up the side. I've got some really cute little shoes and um, I hope to have a blessed time. And this celebration will be way different than I think any of us thought it would be. Um, so grateful to God. But anyway, I just wanted to show off my cute little, my dress is a sleeveless dress. Don't have pretty arms anymore, but I got this little little jacket to cover that up and take off when I get too hot. And my shoes are flats, but they're silver with a little strap over them and they're just adorable. It's very hard for me to wear shoes. Uh, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, I either wear slippers or no shoes because the bones in my feet are always causing me discomfort. I will return or I will attach the rest of the story to my little wedding thing today and uh, I will get this up soon. Well, hello. It's been a minute since I've sat and did a little chat. Um, hopefully you saw the little um, couple second video or minute video I did on the way to my daughter's granddaughter's wedding. That was on Friday. Today is Monday. Hopefully I can get this uploaded. The internet here is the worst it's ever been I and mean, we've tried everything where we are located in the resort there's just trees all around us and there's just nothing working for us so internet is rough so that's part of why I haven't done videos like I I would have wanted I, I wanted to do two a week I'm lucky if I can do one a month but anyway okay so Thursday my granddaughter was getting married on Friday, or got married on Friday. Thursday started out a great normal day. Laid down for a nap. Actually, both of us laid down for a nap, me and Baldy. Got up from the nap, both feeling refreshed and ready to go. And phone rings, and I hear my husband say, no, no, and... Well, you know that's bad, right? So I knew, I knew something was bad. But anyway, long story short, I'm not gonna do this for hours here. Long story short, on the way to the rehearsal dinner, our son, my granddaughter's father, and her brother were in a head-on collision. Um, I'm really gonna try to keep this short. They both pretty much walked away with minor injuries, thankfully, but for the longest time, about two hours, we just couldn't get any updates. The hospital where they were, it's about an hour and a half away from us. So um, me and Greg got ready as quick as, we, as quick as we could and we were on our way to the hospital and we really didn't know that they were okay until later that night. This happened around, I'm gonna say around 1, 1.30 in the afternoon, and it was later that night. I mean, we knew the grandson was fine because he was up and walking around right after. He just has a broken arm and, um, you know, like abrasions and stuff from his seatbelt and the airbag that hit him. He's pretty bruised up. Same for my son. Uh, my son has fractured ribs and um, like a big gash under here and um, two big nogs on his head and the fractured ribs and then the bruising from seat belts and airbags but um they were in a little ford fusion which is a pretty little car they were hit by a cadillac escalade which is a pretty big car uh, there's no front of the car left there's no front all that's left is like 
from where your driver's seat is to the back. So um, that was Thursday, the day before the wedding. So there ended up being no rehearsal dinner. Um, we were at the hospital till not real late, but we didn't hear till late that our son was going to be released. So, um, okay, everything's okay, right? So Friday is the wedding. Um, me and Greg are on our way to the wedding, about two blocks from the wedding. We're sitting at a stop sign. This is an ad addition to the story. When I made the video of me, um, that you saw prior to this, going before the wedding, this had not happened. On our way to the wedding, we were like two blocks away from the venue. We're sitting at a stop sign and I looked in the rear, rear view mirror and I saw a white truck coming and I didn't think anything of it because he was slowing down and we were already stopped. So I looked in the rear view mirror and then I looked to the right just to look. All of a sudden, man, we felt this big bump lurched forward. I lost it. I just started screaming, no, no, no. And uh, yeah, so that white truck, I don't know if he was on his phone. We still don't know what he was doing. He hit the back of our car. It feels and sounds worse than uh, than what it was. I mean, our back of our car, the latch door, it's a minivan, it has some damage on it. We didn't call the police because the wedding was, we were like 10 minutes away from the wedding starting and we just, you know, neither of us were hurt. I'm not a Sue Happy type person. And um, we got all the guys information, called our our uh, daughter who was already at the wedding and said, you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. But me and dad were just hit from behind. Well, it just was, it was too much for me. So anyway, we got to the wedding in time and uh, wedding went off beautiful. The father daughter dance was, meant so much more because it could have been two funerals instead of a wedding. And once again, for me, I was humbled, put on my freaking knees. I believe my whole entire family was humbled because it just, we just knew. I mean, getting head on by a big, big vehicle when you're in a little vehicle and it just could have been so different. So the father-daughter dance, there wasn't a dry eye. And during the wedding, my son just started shaking. I was sitting next to him, so I put my hand on his leg, but the emotions were running really high because, you know, I mean, I feel like we've been in a movie the last few days. The That, thinking I was, until we knew that he was okay, I mean, we were in that place where we thought we had lost a son and a grandson. And I can handle a lot of things in my life, and I've handled a lot of things in my life. I'm still handling cancer. I've handled, you know, the stuff with Greg, poverty, losing stuff. I just don't think I can go down that road. But anyway, God showed mercy. I still have my son and grandson. I still have my own family. And I'm so grateful. And me and Greg were okay. So um, that was Friday. Ended up leaving the wedding. This is probably the earliest I've ever left a wedding. We left like at nine, quarter to nine. I had fun. It was beautiful ceremony. I'm going to try to attach a picture of the bride. It was a beautiful ceremony. She was one of the prettiest brides I've ever seen. Yes, I know I'm biased because it's my granddaughter, but she really is. The girl could be a model. She's just way too short and... She's kind of a sass, sassy one. But uh, they're in Jamaica for the week. And um, I'm praying for that, that they're okay. So that was Thursday and Friday. Saturday, me and Greg were pretty much like numb. And um, we both still feel kind of like just like what happened. You're wiped out. And so Saturday was a quiet day. We just had to get our meds and stayed home and then uh, Sunday I get a call from my sister that my other sister who lives near me is being um, admitted to the hospital for pneumonia 
probably COPD. So I went and visited her yesterday and then I got a phone call early in the morning that her heart stopped and we're waiting to hear what's going on. I mean, she's okay. Everything's good. She was just moved to ICU. I kind of feel like it's not a big deal. I think, I think she has sleep apnea. I mean, she is very heavy. She's a heavy smoker. She's starting to get all the things that come along with being severely overweight and a, a heavy smoker. You know, she's on the border of diabetes. She's on the border of COPD. She got pneumonia. I believe this is a sleep apnea case, which if not treated, we know it can kill you. So hopefully she's in the right place and she's going to get on whatever they put you on for that. I haven't heard yet. I'm waiting to hear back. But I feel like since Thursday, like I've just been like existing. It's just one thing after another. The resort that we live in has been flooded so far most of this season. Half the park is inaccessible. It just opened up on, I believe, Saturday. We were able to navigate the whole park on our golf cart, which we have not been able to do. The smell is horrendous. Anyone who's ever been through flooding from a river knows. I mean, it stinks. So everything was open. So Friday, Saturday, and we were able to take a golf cart ride through our entire resort, which we have not been able to do in over a month. Well, then, I think it was Saturday night, I have a rain gauge by my pond, and I had emptied it out. It rained really heavy Saturday night. Sunday, get up our backyard and around our little lot is carrying more water than it has all season. The rain gauge shows four and a half inches of rain. Rained a little bit again last night. We are due for another big storm this afternoon or early evening. It just won't stop. It won't stop. This rain will not stop. I have not been able to hardly be outside. The mosquitoes here are insane. I'm weary of hiring someone to spray because you know my ferals are out there they drink out of the pond they go across the grass there's puddles all over the grass that they're drinking out of so i don't want chemicals in that molly goes outside me with cancer i'm at my wits end i can be outside i the minute i walk out that door they're on me i i don't know and i don't use off or anything and i'm not going to because i mean i've already got cancer so what what worse could it be right cancer on top of cancer but i don't want that so i bought this little unit that I keep on the deck. It, it works pretty well in, in keeping the area free where we're sitting. And then we have this big fan that we turn on and that helps control them a little bit in your immediate area. But like if I wanna go, you know, outside and do laundry or go pull weeds, it's impossible, it's terrible. So this summer, I'm gonna say we are in mid-July. We've been here five years. I'm gonna safely say this is the worst between what happened with our son in the wedding, this never ending rain. It's turning out to be the worst. It's just turning out to be the worst. It's a, I feel in a really weird place because I'm not a naive person. I know that we are beyond blessed that our son and grandson are okay. So far, my sister's okay. I'm still okay. It's just, it really wipes us out. Even It's a weird, like I'm trying to explain like how I feel. Like I feel so blessed and humbled that God has chosen to spare us from probably the greatest thing a parent can go through or the, the harshest thing a parent can go through, losing a child and a grandson. Yes, I'm very grateful that he spared us, but I am at my end. I'm at my end. I don't, I feel like I'm like a walking robot right now. Like I'm just functioning. I still can't really sleep well. I don't feel like I'm in a fight or flight mode, but I just feel like the phone calls just aren't stopping. The icky news just aren't stopping. Is as simple as this park not being uh, able to navigate. And then that creates the bug situation and the smell and the odors and I can't, my garden is pretty much shot. That's a very small price to pay, I know, because some people here have not been able to even use their, their tiny homes or trailers. They haven't even been able to use them. They can't get to them. It's 
so I know my blessings run deep. It doesn't change the fact that I'm literally freaking exhausted. It's I'm battling cancer, which is enough, and then add all this. I'm getting a little nervous with all this stress that it could trigger something in me. I can't remember what day it was. I think it was Saturday. Literally every bone in my body ached. I was popping pain pills like M&Ms. And I think it's just from the stress. This, this stress was crazy. I, To me, hearing that phone call about our son and grandson was harder on me than my cancer diagnosis. I just... It changed you. It stopped. It's like the time stopped. The clock stopped. And it's just... So I don't know. Today is a day of cleanup. My son has got to do what he's got to do and find out, you know, what... He didn't have replacement coverage on his car. He did have insurance, but not replacement coverage. So he probably won't get what the car was worth. It's... Um, he is really good at maintenance and stuff of car vehicles and that. I mean, he's put in engines, so he does everything himself. So his cars, any cars he has, they may be old, they may look beat up, but they're mechanically perfect. So they lost to them a good car. I mean, it was only worth, I think he said about 12000 He's not going to get that. And, you know, so, but he's alive and he's okay. He can't work for a while, but he can do the computer part of it and the other two sons can do what they need to do so there'll be some adjustments as for us we'll figure out um we've been in contact with the guy and we got to go get an estimate greg's out getting an estimate now on the back of our car so all in all everything's good but i just feel like i'm like in a like someone turns me on i go do what i need to do then they turn me off and then i go to bed that's where i'm at so yeah it's been an interesting few days before this wedding um, and the car accident, I would say our summer was going still not that well because of the weather we're having here in Wisconsin. It just interferes with everything when you're dealing with flooding constantly. All it seems like we've been doing is lifting up things to dry them off, waiting for the yard to dry off. It's always like full of puddles you can just basically see the mosquitoes growing. Um, I've lost all my, like I said, I've planted my garden twice now. And after Saturday's rain, I probably lost it again. And I'm not, it's too late now to plant beans and pumpkins. So this may be a bust year for us. Uh, I've already repotted my tomatoes. I've repotted my beans. Um, I've had to throw away a lot of flowers. And anybody who does gardening knows that flowers today are not cheap. This is making me rethink everything. Like, next spring, I don't know if I'm... I cut way back this year, but next year, I may go all fake. Because it's really... For me, I love flowers and gardening and things so much. It's disheartening to pick it up and throw it away. Everything is like sitting in standing water and... The roots and stuff are just so it's I may rethink this is the first time in my 66 year old life that I've had to do this but once is enough I've seen it I've seen the rot it's it's just flooding's bad it's bad and it really brings down like for me it brings down my morale because I'm a person that you know you're stuck in your house all winter and you just wait to get outside in early spring before the rain started I was out there every day scooting around, pulling weeds, waiting for the perennials to come up. And, you know, we were on top of the yard and fixing things up. And the pond was flowing and everything was great. And it was fun. Then it started raining and it hasn't stopped. And uh, the scooter sits because I can't be out there. If I go out there at the minute, and I'm not exaggerating, when I go towards the patio door, I have literally seen the mosquitoes come to the door. It's like they're waiting for me. So that's been my life. I am very grateful that we are all okay. I pray that we continue to be all, all okay. I pray that all of you are okay. Um, I've got, it's mid-July. I wanted to try to get in my last bucket list trip before I have to go in for scans and tests again, which is October, November. And I pray that that can happen. Um, we've been waiting on a 
a small inheritance from our uncle, which is, that's a whole nother story. It's, it's been five years. Games are being played with that. May not get it. So my trip may not happen. I'm okay. That's all right. I just got to say that I'm tired of liars. I'm tired of thieves. I'm tired of corruption. But there's nothing we can do about it. All we could do is hire an attorney to get this attorney to do the right thing. It would cost so much to hire an attorney to get a paltry $5,000 if that. No, so what? It's not worth it, right? So I sit and wonder, is this guy going to get away with it? Because in all actuality, it isn't worth hiring an attorney to get $5,000 because to hire an attorney is probably going to be more than that. So, um, yeah, if anyone could send up some prayers that this estate can get settled and um, soon, it was supposed to be done by mid-July, that would be great. And I would appreciate prayers for my son and grandson's continued healing and for them to be able to find a safe, decent car in their price range, whatever they're going to end up getting. And for me and Greg to, um, we just got to keep our car running. It's piecemealing to death. Mechanically, it's okay. Physically, between that fat ass raccoon that we hit in spring coming home from the same granddaughter that got married, I'm starting to think maybe we shouldn't go anything by her. But um, we hit a fat-ass raccoon, excuse my language, on the way home from her having us over for dinner. He took out the right panel of our minivan. Husband ended up having to use that money for mechanical things instead of replacing the panel. So we have that. Now we have the back door. So um, we may have to use that money to keep it mechanically going because neither of us want a car payment. Can't really afford a car payment. And... Um, it runs good. I mean, it's gotten us to Houston and back three times. And when we went and wintered in Houston, we didn't stay in Houston. We went all over Texas. So that little car, despite having 250,000 miles, has been, a, has been a godsend to us. So both of us want to keep it going, even if it's, you know, all that's left is the front seat and the steering wheel. That's what it is, right? So hopefully I can get this video uploaded today. Obviously, if you're seeing this, it means I did. And I hope all of you are well. I ask you to please leave me comments. Please share my videos. If you haven't liked my videos, please do or subscribe, I mean, and um, help me grow my channel because it's just kind of sitting there like me every day. So um, leave me a comment. Let me know how you are all doing. And um, this is my latest update. I hope to be right more regular, but right now with the bad internet, with all the trees, I can't promise it. So there you go. Have a great day.